Hi, now here we've got an example on the Poisson distribution and if you like to read it through and have a go, do pause the video, come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, well what we have here is, first of all we've got to write down the conditions under which the Poisson distribution can be used as an approximation to the binomial distribution. And the answer to this would be that the number of trials would have to be very large. In other words, n has to be a large value. And the probability of success, p, has to be small. So that would be the kind of answer I'd want to put down for that. Now, for the next part, we're told that the probability of any one letter being delivered to the wrong house is 0.01. And on a randomly selected day, Peter delivers a thousand letters. And in part B, we've got to use the Poisson approximation. We've got to find the probability that Peter delivers at least four letters to the wrong house and give your answer to four decimal places. Well, first of all, whenever I'm doing probability distributions, you should define a random variable. So I'm going to say let x be that random variable. It can be any letter you like. Make sure it's a capital letter though. Okay, let x be the random variable. We'll put RV for short. And that random variable is going to be essentially the number of, I'll just write number in brief there, okay? Number of letters that are delivered to the wrong address, okay? So we'll just say delivered to the wrong address. I'll just put wrong address, okay? Cut down on the words a bit. But we need to define that random variable. And this distribution x follows is a binomial distribution. So it's say where x, our random variable x, is distributed binomially and a binomial distribution has two parameters. Number of trials, n first, and then the probability of success, p, next. So the number of trials is a thousand, okay, we're delivering a thousand letters, and the probability of being delivered to a wrong address is 0.01. So we've defined our binomial distribution. What we've got to do though is use an approximation because what we want is find the probability that Peter delivers at least four letters to the wrong house. In other words we've got to find the probability that x is greater than or equal to four. And to do this we're going to be doing 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 3. Remember 1 would be all the possibilities, but this is an infinite, this has got an infinite number of probabilities here. x can be 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. So the only way around this is to do 1, all the possibilities, minus the ones less than or equal to 3. That's naught. 1, 2, and 3. But to work these out with such big numbers here through the formula, it's not impossible, but uh, they did say use an approximation. And that approximation is the Poisson approximation. And we can use it when n is large and p is small. And we've got n is large, okay? We're going to say that since n is greater than 50, because that tends to be generally the defining value of a large value for n. And p is less than 0.1. That is the general value for p that you tend to see when we can approximate this to a Poisson distribution. So we can say that x is distributed as a Poisson distribution approximately, okay? Now, we need one parameter in here and it's always the mean. And we can get the mean from a 
binomial model because the mean, often denoted by e of x, equals np. So for us, it's going to be n, which is 1,000, times 0 0.01. That's going to give us 10. Okay. So in order to work out the probability then of x being greater than or equal to 4, it equals 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 3. What we can do is just use the commutative distribution tables for a Poisson distribution. And I've got an excerpt of that set of tables here. If you've got that x follows a Poisson with a mean lambda, then the tables work out the probability x is less than or equal to any observed value. So what you do is you just check out lambda being 10, look under your observed value being 3, and you should see you get 0 0.0103 in your tables. So what we've got then is 1 minus 0 0.0103. Work that out and you end up with 0 0.9897. Okay, 